Good morning, Eagles. Happy Wednesday. Today's embedded time periods are 1, 3, and 5. As you can see, Kelly is not here with us today, but we have a special guest. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jack, and I'm the senior class president. And I'm happy to be here. Let's get on with the fun fact of the day. Kaka! Fun fact, did you know cats have fewer toes on their back paws? Speaking of cats, ASB is hosting Gavrilino's next top pet. Vote for your favorite pet in these three categories. Coolest trick, cutest pet, and best dress. The Google form can be found on the Google Doc provided by your embedded time teacher and is open from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Good morning, dear audience. Thank you for joining us on the final day of Pets Got Talent. The three categories to win are cutest pets, coolest trick, and best dressed, meaning out of the four final contestants, one will be eliminated. Any thoughts to share with our audience? I am so excited to see what's in store for us today. I mean, anything is possible. And all the contestants are talented and hardworking, so it will definitely be a hard choice. Nevertheless, good luck and may the best pit win. Ugh, really? With the puns again? Well, considering our audience, I couldn't agree less, darling. I'm thoroughly prepared to be unimpressed as per usual. Come on, let's chop chop. Oh, um, alrighty then. <laughs> Our first contestant of the day is an expert in dance. She pops and locks and leaves crumbs for no one. Give it up for Nala. A wonderful performance. Do you think she could give me dance lessons? Rather than give them, she should receive them. You already know my answer. A five. You know, that's quite rough of you to say. I must say I disagree with you on this one. I shall reward a 10. You did excellent, Nala. Well done. Second in line, but surely not second in our hearts, is our one and only Scout. This adorable old soul has kept her act a secret from us. So let's see what surprise she has in store. I hate to admit it, but that was touching. Made my heart feel warm I hadn't had since I was born. I'll grant you with a seven, darling. Um, well, that was quite interesting. And simply, I must say, magnificent as expected, no less from such an experienced dog. And I must say, she also looks quite fetching. Another 10 for me. All right, our third contestant is Rory. This is a cat of many talents and abilities. Little as top super pet in 2020, Rory knows that with great power comes great responsibility. Wonderful, a true hero with excellent aerial capabilities. That is a 10 for me. Sure, she was voted top super pet in 2020, but obviously she will not be nominated again this year. The most I can offer is a five, and that's me being nice. Well, dear audience, we've come to the final contestant. Praised as model extraordinaire, this cat really brings out the cat in catwalk. Let's welcome Simba to the stage. Bravo, bravo! That's my baby, I'm so proud. Tens, tens and only tens just for you. Kisses for mama. Mwah. Wait. Is that your cat? You know, that's against the rules to enter your own pet, right? Um, you, you must have heard wrong. Um, <laughs> uh, I would never do that, darling. No, 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 no. Okay, I'll believe you for now, my friend. Simba is truly an excellent model. Very sophisticated <laughs> and awfully adorable in his little turtleneck. You could say that his sense of style is possible. I will give you a 10 as well. All right, that was the last contestant. The judges have submitted the winners of the categories cutest pet, coolest trick, and best dressed. Who out of these four lovely contestants will leave empty handed? Stay tuned for the next episode to find out. Show your teachers some love by sending them a virtual Valentine. Forms open on February 1st to February 10th. Find the link on the Google document provided by your embedded time teacher or on the ASB link tree. Gavellino is hosting a blood drive with Red Cross. Here's some more information in this video. Hey you. Yes, you. Do you have blood? 
Well, if you do, it's time to put that blood to good use. Well, what can I do with my blood? You ask. Well, here's what you can do. Go donate it to the Red Cross Blood Drive, which will take place Thursday, January 28th from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Badia Room and Lodge. Scheduling appointment is easy. All you need to do is visit redcrossblood.org and enter the sponsor code G-A-B-H-S. If you sign up for it, your blood gets tested for COVID-19 antibodies, and you're automatically entered into a raffle for tickets to Super Bowl 56 in 2022. And not only that, but you'll be putting a raffle to win a 65-inch TV and a $500 gift card. With your blood, yes, your blood, the Red Cross can aid COVID-19 patients and others who need blood. So why wait? Go sign up now and put your blood to some good use. For more details, please visit the Gabrielino ASB Instagram page. Sophomore class is hosting a Disney escape room on January 29th from 3 to 4 p.m. You can sign up on the Google form provided by your embedded time teacher. Senior class is hosting a bonding activity this Friday at 5.30 p.m. You can sign up on the Google form provided by your embedded time teacher. The form closes this Thursday at 8 p.m. Club Council is having a lunch meeting on February 9th, and Class Council is having meetings on February 2nd. ASB is hosting a blind friendship date where you fill out the Google form with your interests, and we pair you up with someone who has similar interests. The form opens on the 1st and closes on the 7th at 6 p.m. It can be found on the Instagram link tree or in the Google document provided by your embedded time teacher. Yearbook profile nominations are due February 9th. Nominate a student who has made an impact on you for a possible feature in the yearbook. Your book selfie portraits are due February 12th. Check your email or your MetaTime classroom stream for instructions and links. SGUSD is hosting a virtual showcase of the arts during March 22nd to 26th. The SGUSD PRISM team would like to invite all GHS students to participate in this event. Students can register by February 7th and submit artworks or videos that are related to the theme of hashtag San Gabriel experience at the website sgsdvapa.org slash arts dash week. This link can also be found on the Google document provided by your invited time teacher. Congratulations to Daisy Dong and Daniela Acosta for getting student of the month. Vote for January teacher of the month. This month's department is the visual and performing arts teachers. The forms are open today from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Don't forget to check the Tongva Times. You can read their stories at thetongvatimes.wordpress.com or check out their Instagram at the Tongva Times. Now onto the College and Career Center. Rio Honda is offering Kinesiology 194 Introduction to Kinesiology Online. Enrollment information is posted in Google Classroom. Attention seniors, PCC has two application workshops on January 27th at 1.15 p.m. and 2.15 p.m. We are hosting a virtual community college and career training fair on March 10th from 11.15 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. In collaboration with our counseling department, ASB is helping promote the January self-care calendar. To encourage students a little more, we created a little bingo sheet for students to fill in with pictures of them participating. A full sheet is a bingo. ASB is also accepting pictures through the month to create weekly collages. Students and staff can send them in via our Instagram page or email us at gabgabsocialmedia at gmail.com. This week's inspirational note. The difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do. That's all for this week. Have a soaring day, Eagles.